Good afternoon. My name is Karen Shanung, and I'm presenting on half of Coda Bears Incorporated Epicor dashboards for open jobs. Today, I'm going to cover a simple dashboard to demonstrate the steps that go into creating a dashboard from scratch. I'll demo this in Epicor version 10.2.500 but many of the steps will be the same for other Epicor 10 versions. I'm going back to some more basic items for this presentation. There are not too many steps to creating a simple dashboard and I've outlined them on this slide. Additional following slides will cover more detail about each topic shown here. I'll start out by creating a business activity query or BAQ for short show how to add fields and then criteria to the BAQ, create the actual dashboard, add a query to the dashboard, test and deploy the dashboard, and then add your dashboard as a menu item into Epicor. After the static illustrations of each step are shown with the pictures in this presentation, I will do a live dashboard building in Epicor 10. 2.500. Although there are many additional changes and additions that can be made to the dashboard, we will keep it simple for today and use the dashboard to add additional steps in the future Lunch and Learn presentations. So follow the path shown here, system management, business activity queries, and then open the business activity query menu item. You'll use the new button here and Start typing a new query name and answer yes that you want to create a new query. Then enter a description and mark the query as shared and save the query. Remember to save often. If you don't want other users to see this query, you can skip the step for checking the shared button. But if you want it to be used throughout Epicor, you'll want to click the shared button checkbox. To start building your query you'll first need to add a table to the query. Using the query builder tab and the phrase build sub tab you can search for and select one or more tables to use in your query. Here I typed JO to get the job head table. So it starts bringing up any tables that begin with JO. Next, you'll go to the Query Builder and Display Fields sub-tab. And the column selects Second Level sub-tab. Expand the tables to view all the fields that are available and pick those that you want in your query. From the left side, which has the available columns, and move them to the right side, the display columns. You'll click the right arrow to move them to the right and the left arrow to remove them from the display columns if you want. In order to add criteria to your BAQ, you'll move back to the Query Builder tab and the Phrase Build sub-tab. Select your table in the Design area. To let Epicor know this is the table you want to work with to add criteria. In the lower section, select the New button to add a new row of criteria formulas. Choose which field, in this case we have job closed, what operation equals in this case, and then um, from the drop down box you can pick criteria. In this case I want a specific constant. So job closed equals false means that it will be open jobs. To verify the results of the query, you'll move to the Analyze tab and click the Test button. So you just go to the Analyze tab and click Test button and you can see these are all the closed shown in the re results I have all the columns for the whole column for closed should be unchecked. 
In addition, you can run the query before the criteria is added and see the returned rows as higher than the current returned rows of 233. Make sure to save your query now if you have not already. Also take note of the name of your query for ease in adding it to your dashboard. So now to create your dashboard, you'll use the menu path shown here, Executive Analysis, Business Activity Management, General Operations, and Dashboard. As long as you have developer options, you should be able to create your dashboard. Make sure that you turn on developer mode and your screen should have a left panel before the general panel and dashboard tabs. If not, use the tools menu and select developer to get into developer mode as long as you, your account has permissions. Once you're in the dashboard screen, click the new button or start typing a name for your dashboard in the definition ID and answer yes to creating a new dashboard. Put in a caption and description. The caption will be shown in the blue title bar and the description is used when you add your dashboard as a menu item in Epicor. You may be tempted to save now, but there is really nothing to save until we add a query. Next slide. So now we want to add your query to the dashboard. Use the new, new drop down button to pick new query and type in your query ID if you remember it or click the query ID button to search for your previously created query. Ours was named Open Jobs as shown here. Then click the OK button. Now move to the Dashboard tab and click the Refresh button. This is the Refresh button with the double arrows and you're on the Dashboard tab and you should see your results in the dashboard. Click Save to save the dashboard and now that, it, now that it includes your query. At this point you can choose to move, sort, group columns. Also you can choose to not show all of the columns even though they were all in your query. Now to test and deploy your dashboard you'll use the Tools menu and click select the Deploy Dashboard. This will bring up a screen that is shown on the right. First you can click the button to test the dashboard and once you're happy with the results you can click the checkbox to deploy smart client application and then the button on the bottom to deploy. The left picture here shows the dashboard results after selecting to test the application and clicking refresh and the right picture shows an example of the log information when you click the deploy button. If the smart application is complete and the last line shows finished, Epicor built a DLL file in the background for your newly created dashboard. Next we talk about attaching your dashboard to an Epicor menu item. You'll use the path system setup, security maintenance, and choose the item for menu maintenance. In order to have other users view your dashboard, you'll need to add the dashboard to a menu item in Epicor. Once you're in menu maintenance, expand the tree to the parent menu of where you want to place the dashboard. In this case, we expanded product management production management, job management, and general operations. Then click the new drop down and choose new menu. Add the menu ID, the menu name, and the order sequence. Now select dashboard assembly from the drop down for the program type, a tracker icon, and choose your dashboard from the drop down list from the dashboard box. Again, that would be the um, description of your dashboard, open jobs in this case. 
and then save your new menu item and exit Epicor and reopen Epicor to see your new menu item and dashboard. After reopening Epicor, follow the path to your new dashboard. In this case, we put it under general operations of job management, production management. And at the end, it says open jobs dashboard. So if you double click that, you can open your dashboard and click the refresh button to see the dashboard data here.